Howdy! Thanks for dropping by, checking out the video. I'm Jay, and the reason I started this channel is I've been collecting gold and silver since I was a young man, and usually it was given as a gift. To me for special occasions and things like that I would buy a little bit here and there whenever I found it and recently I purchased some bullion and coins from SD bullion and this is uh, one of the I guess uh, premium things that they give you for signing up is uh five ounces of silver at spot i believe the other option was one ounce of gold but they send you a little email saying thanks for uh signing up on our website or whatever and here's your shot at getting some uh no premium uh gold and silver so the five ounces on the first order I placed turned out to be this nice uh, poured bar from SD Bullion if you can see all the writing on it on the video or not but it's five troy ounces four nines fine silver it's got a nice Liberty Bell on there shipped in this uh, that's a little fog on there from the condensation from my hands but flat back uh, no markings on the back but it's nice little five ounce bar I had ordered some the Austrian Philharmonics um, along with this and that's what they sent me so I was impressed I'd never bought uh, things like this online from a company like that I bought from eBay before uh, I've been on eBay since I believe about 1999 buying and selling and uh, I would bought some silver off there before you got to be really careful with eBay you know make sure you know they've got some uh, your seller you're purchasing from has really good feedback or a lot of a lot of feedback with a good rating and that they've sold things like that before especially uh, if you're buying something that isn't a one-off you can definitely see good feedback whenever they uh, make sales and stuff but I, I bought from SD Bullion at the recommendation of Yankee Stacker and you know, check out some of his videos. He's got a lot of good information and that guy Tim up there I believe they're in uh, New Hampshire uh, Runs that coin shop up there man. He's He's spot-on. He's a great dealer and I'd love to do some business with that guy, you know, but uh, Yankee he does uh, live streams and He sounds like a really good fella and I really appreciate the information he's putting out there for people. He does giveaways and things like that. And I don't know if I make some more videos like this, get some subscribers and uh, you guys like my content. Maybe I'll start giving some stuff away too. Everybody likes free stuff. But the reason why I'm doing the video today is after my first purchase with SD Boy. And I was impressed. Uh, it I did buy during the... Uh, the, the the really busy time I think they had to hire some employees and and whatnot and uh, their shipping times had slowed down and they had raised their minimum up to around five hundred dollars I think it was they may have dropped it down to five hundred at that time I don't know but I uh, whenever I purchased this along with the Philharmonics uh, it was five hundred dollars and it took a good uh, how uh, it was probably a little over two weeks for my order to process ship and get to me the second order after this uh came 
yesterday. I placed that order on April 26th, and it came on, I guess yesterday was May the, May the 5th? I, I believe it was May the 5th. But it's here. Yay, it's here. So we're going to do a unboxing of this. And you guys can see uh, if you want to order some stuff from SD Bullion. Hey, look, they don't uh, sponsor me or nothing. Uh, I've got no relationship with them at all other than being a customer. And uh, I don't, haven't had any complaints uh, with them so far. And since I've received this, and before I received this, I even placed another order with them because they had a really good deal on uh, the new King Charles Britannias. And uh, there, it was like $3.99 over spot. And I just couldn't pass that up. Uh, it seems like around every Monday or so, they uh, put out some new specials and things. So I didn't want to see that go away without grabbing a few of those. But the coins that I ordered... Uh, I think I ordered 20 of them. I didn't order a whole tube. But uh, the ones that I've got coming with some other items, uh, there should be one of those in this box. So the I did order uh, one of the King Charles, and I believe there should be one with the Queen on there too. Rest her soul. She passed away this year, and she won't be on these anymore. And uh, she is probably the most well-known face on any coins in the world. I think she's she's probably I don't know. I, I think maybe it was on Yankees Channel. They said she was on something like over a trillion coins or something in the world. The British Commonwealth is pretty big. And uh, for having a monarch survive that long, you get your face on a whole lot of coins and a whole lot of countries. And uh, but they'll, uh, they'll have uh, King Charles's pretty face on them from now on. I know some people aren't too happy about that, but hey, what's done is done, right? Yeah, we live in America, we don't have a queen or a king on our coins. Uh, but it doesn't make it any less important, you know, in other countries. So it always seems like such a small box when they get here. It's like, oh man, oh man, that's you know, really small box. It's like I hope I got well, there's some papers in there. Let's just say, hey, we'll store your stuff for three months for free. Oh, look at this. Make sure there's no. Yeah, it's got my address and stuff on there. Let's got that packing list. Yeah. This says, uh, thank you for your support of this deep William. John 316. Wow, that's great. Yeah, let's see. Some nice card, a business card. And, okay, we got. I'll take this out first. These are. I believe another roll of Philharmonics. So I don't have to cut that. It's got a little doohickey there. And it didn't work. So we're going to cut that. Put that right off. They sure pack their stuff good. I mean, you could shake that box and not hear any rattling or clinking or anything like that. That's great because you don't want to hear your, you know, mint state coins <laughs> clinking around or whatever if that's what you're ordering, you know. So, hey, if you want to sell them back, they'll buy them back. Look at that. That's awful nice of them. As people say, oh, why are you buying silver? You can't do nothing with that. Well, hey, look. If you can buy it, somebody else want to buy it. It doesn't matter. Look at the label came off. It says silver, silver, and that looked like it had uh, some kind of seal under there that was on top of here. 
open these up have a look see pop that open probably could have put that in there there we go yeah so these are the Austrian Philharmonics they're a one and a half euro face value one ounce of fine silver uh, 2023 and this is so people think this is a building or something or some kind of temple or what no that is a giant pipe organ if you look the there's a little v-shaped thing where the pipes come up on each one of those it's like a giant pipe organ and I guess the motif for these philharmonics is music of course I'll stump these out have a look at these these are really nice pretty coins there we go see that there's some like uh, violins a cello a harp it's like a French horn and like a bassoon back there. I used to call that a bazooka when I was a kid because it looked like a bazooka. My cousin plays the bazooka in the band. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bassoon. So these are really nice. No reeded edge around. I know some people don't like that on a coin because uh, people can actually shave some off the edges. And if they did it all the way around, of course, it would lose diameter. But, you know, you could... Uh, Get some of that silver off of there so they you know they have readed edges on coins so you would see if somebody did that but yeah these are nice got uh 20 of those in a roll and let's see what else we got i ordered uh some different types of things i i got eagles and like i said i, I had already ordered some of the harmonics but they're at a low premium right now like about as low as uh you know you can you can get just generic rounds and things so i mean why not buy something that has a face value and uh you get the best of both worlds there now this coin has the queen on the back of it this is an australian one dollar and it is a koala this is the 2023 one ounce four nines fine silver koala from the perth mint and i did pay a little bit of a premium over what i paid for the philharmonics for this it was i believe it was it was about four or five bucks you know uh but it's a really nice coin. I didn't have one. And I got one now, you know. Mm. These are probably the Britannias. Yeah. Actually, that's a kangaroo there it's a kangaroo Australia this is an Australian kangaroo Let's see if I get that light just right on there 2023 one ounce four nines fine so front or let's see I don't know What's the reverse? What's the obverse on these? I guess uh, the obverse usually has the face, whoever it is. So, this is, uh, I get, you know, this could be considered a commemorative because it's 1952 to 1922, it says. Elizabeth II, Australia, two one dollar. And it is a 2023 coin. Other one here, Elizabeth II, five dollars. 
1952 to 2022, 2023. This is Canadian maple. Four nines fine silver. Uh, one ounce. These are beautiful coins, though. Just the, the way they look, the texture on that leaf. There's a security feature right here. You hold it just right, and it's got the the year in there. Kind of a holographic thing, sort of. Which way you turn it. Dog's barking about probably a lizard or a squirrel right outside the kitchen door there. If you hear that. So, so there's two more. Different. So we can open those up like this. Leave those there. And here are the Britannias. Now these are absolutely stunning coins. When I saw these, I was like, I've got to get some of these. Uh, it's just, I mean, it, it, it's unreal. You know, these things, they have a reeded edge. There's a, another security feature here, this little trident in this little circle. And the front is the same on this one, but... One should be the king, and one should be the queen. And wow, these are like super shiny. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed. These are really nice. SD sends out some good stuff. I mean, they're... These are nice coins. So those two Britannias, what are we up to? This order. That's uh twenty-five ounces. I believe I ordered thirty-six. I sure hope there's another bar in here besides the big one. This Should be a 10 ounce. Uh, there's another one ounce bar. I should have coming. Yeah, I think it's I think it's hiding down in there with the other. They sure pack this stuff well. And I would say scissors are probably the most effective tool for this. You know, cut away from your body, not towards your buddy. If y'all didn't hear that from your uncle, your daddy, or your grandpa, now you're hearing it from Jay now. Not fun stabbing yourself with anything. All right, so here is I believe this is Scottsdale, Scottsdale Mint. Uh, this is the uh, Archangel Michael on a one ounce silver bar. I paid a lot bigger premium for this. These are really popular for some reason. It's a really Nice looking uh, one ounce. Taking down the serpent there. I saw these and it's got a reeded edge as well. I think I may leave that in the card there for a little bit. Let's see, we'll stick that right here. I'll move this box up. And we get to the Britannia 10 ounce. Let's see Britannia holding the trident there. Got the Union Jack on the shield. This is really nice. It's got kind of a wavy field. 
Beautiful. From the Royal Mint, 10 ounce, 3 nines, fine silver. Very nice bar. And that brings the total up to 36 ounces for this order. And the total on this, uh, it shipped free, uh, ordered on April 26th, arrived on May the 5th. Uh, I paid through uh, e-check, automatic clearinghouse, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that was the method of payment. And uh, it was 1068 I believe. Spot price was around twenty five oh four, I think, when I placed the order. So I don't know for all y'all math nerds that want to do the gazentas on that, Jeff Rowe style, uh, you can figure it all out. But yeah, thirty six ounces added to the stack, and along with this and some other things, I'm working on a getting that little treasure chest. We'll start filling up the treasure chest, maybe, on uh, future videos. But if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. Again, check out Yankee Stacker and his uh, videos. and uh, Support that guy because uh, he's uh, really great for our community. And always remember, there's no greater treasure than those being set aside for us in heaven by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless y'all. Have a great day.